Hello everyone, this is Nick Perry of Schaefer's Investment Research with your chart slide show for Thursday, February 22nd. Today I am back with my weekly check of the broad market indices. In last week's chart slide show, we were discussing the uptrends, basically the fact that the SPX was moving up, it consolidated a little bit and was starting to resume its uptrend. Uh, we talked about how the Dow, depending on how you draw it, slowed a little bit. Um, but still moving higher. So we'll skip over the comp here. We talked about the uh, pattern on the rut where you've got the uptrend, the consolidation, and the push to new highs. Um, and on the comp, uh, I want to kind of skip over that because it hasn't, it sort of lagged the other three indices as far as hitting a new annual high. Uh, we did have a high back in here, but it's basically just sort of been flatlined. We haven't seen a push above this zone yet. When we turn to this week's charts, we see that the comp actually did tick above this high right here. See if I can draw a straight line. That's not too straight, but you get the idea. Basically, <clears throat> we've seen this this peak here, uh, the comp. We talked about how there was a little bit of an air pocket here, a little bit bigger one here. The idea is that you've got this support in this zone here. The comp had, you know, it was showing a low that was above that. Um, pulled back a little bit, held a higher low, and now we see a break above that. If I step back and look at that picture, it almost looks like I was trying to draw a little man. Smiley face. And anyway, let's get back to the charts. All right, getting back to uh, reality here. Uh, so we did see a new high on the comp. Uh, took out that peak, ticked above it right there. When we look at the other charts, uh, we see the action hasn't been too exciting thus far this week. I mean, the SPX is still in this little bit of an uptrend here. I mean, we saw a little bit of a bounce, but we've got a little bit of consolidation there. On the Dow, it looks like we've got a little bit of a pullback right into you know, those former peaks right there. And on the RUT, we had been talking about the 800 level uh, as being important, uh, the top of the former range. That's the side of the 50-day moving average now. Um, I mean, we can definitely see some wiggle around the 50-day as we saw right back in here. Uh, but basically, we talked about this being support, but it's not really being tested now. If you've been reading the blog this week, uh, you've been you've seen some chatter about uh, the SPX and the 1450 level. Basically, that is the little bit of support right off that peak right there, kind of like we just looked at on the Dow. Uh, very short-term support. Uh, basically, you know, as we've talked about, this area down in here as uh, the bigger bigger picture levels to watch but I thought that this you know what we've seen here is a little these little mini stair step patterns basically you get a little bit of a advance and you get consolidation back to the prior peak you know we saw that in this area right here and that appears to be what's going on right now uh, the last three days we've seen the SPX either test this area or get close to it um, so you know there's the theory of technical analysis, as I said earlier today in the blog, is that the more time support is tested, the weaker it gets. So we'll see if this holds or if we do see a little bit more of a pullback. Um, but as it stands right now, it's holding. As far as overall takeaways go, you know, obviously the uptrends still remain intact, especially on the SPX and the Dow. You know, if we do see a little break of this short-term support on the SPX, you know, there's still major support in this area here. Same thing for the Dow. You know, it's it's we we could see you know a pullback and still wouldn't even phase this uptrend. Um, the rut, it's got a little bit more defined pattern what's going on here. We've got to break out of consolidation, uh, but still the same concept that we've got support right around that area. The comp, again, is a little different. We did have a breakout above this recent peak. Hey, I drew a straight line finally. Uh, but it's not a decisive breakout. I mean, it's, it's a tick above, but it's definitely not going gangbusters. What you'd like to see here is that signs that this consolidation was uh, a chance for the for the, the uptrend that we saw heading into this basically gives that uptrend a chance to rest gives buyers a chance to regroup so now we'd be looking to see if buyers start to step in and we um, see you know some advances off this level uh, probably the most concerning thing would be if you see a break of this area here you know we've had we've if we dip down into this I wouldn't be too concerned if we break below the recent peak but we have had a fairly distinct pattern of higher lows basically buyers stepping in and if we started to break that that would that would leave me somewhat concerned I mean this this should be a constructive technical pattern and a failure failure to follow through uh, would be a warning sign that perhaps the underlying demand has sort of been exhausted so anyway that's what I'll be uh, watching in the coming week on the blog but as always stay tuned for further updates